So continuing on, we've completed the first step, which is to upload or link to a video, and we'll have the summary as the third step. Right now we're in the adding interactions phase, and when you first come in here, you may see a, a dialogue, a guide. Uh, if you've just recently updated, I'm gonna skip past that for the moment. Here on the toolbar, we can see lots of different options, including label and text, inserting tables or web links, or indeed images. And then a whole range of question types, multiple choice, true and false, drag and drop, and so on. One of the most interesting is perhaps the crossroads, which allows users to skip to different parts of the movie based on their answers to questions. So let's add our first interaction to this movie. I'm just gonna scroll through here to find the right location, uh, just about there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add a short uh, multiple choice question. Um, because I'm gonna actually pause this video, uh, I want it to stop and for people to answer that question, then I don't need 10 seconds on screen. I can just stop the video uh, people answer and then they move on. I've got choices as well in terms of how I display that as a as a button or as a more uh, direct on-screen question. So I'm not going to go through in great detail the each content type here because that's something that you're going to look at in terms of your H5P certification anyway, um, it's just important that you realize which types of interactions you can actually place within an interactive movie. It doesn't support every single H5P content type, but uh, all the ones across the menu that we mentioned earlier, they're obviously all supported. So I'm creating a quick question here about uh, the capital of New Zealand. So we're expecting learners to look through this movie. It's all about Auckland. It mentions that Auckland is the biggest city in terms of population and size. But of course, Auckland isn't actually the capital of New Zealand. It's Wellington. So we want to perhaps give learners a distractor. Um, we also want to think about how we uh, give them information like a tip or the feedback that they might get when they get questions right or wrong. And I'm gonna add a third option. Um, again, a lot of people have heard about Christchurch, so that might be something that they would choose. Obviously, Wellington is the correct answer. So we set up our uh, interaction, our question type, in the same way as we would do otherwise, and just click on Done to save that. So we can see that is added um, it's obscuring New Zealand at the moment so I'm going to move that across and um, probably obscure Australia instead I'm sure they won't mind and just make sure that you drag that out make it a, a size that's going to work okay so I want to add another type of question as well so I'm just gonna move this around uh, and I've just noticed of course that I'd not edited that correctly so I'm putting a question mark on the end but again until you get used to these things well where's the question mark and that again double click to edit and it's simply a case of me adding that question mark in the wrong place so these things take a little bit of time to get used to um, but you should be familiar with most of those content types anyway before you start using them within an interactive video so now I'm going to move on uh, there's a section in the movie that talks about volcanoes. So again, just for a bit of variety here, I'm going to select a slightly different format for the question. I'm going to use a button. Uh, again, I can um, pause that movie while people are answering the question. There's no need for that to continue playing. And uh, just as an example, very simple uh, statement here the movie actually talks about the number of volcanoes in Auckland um, luckily all the volcanoes in Auckland are actually either extinct or dormant and um, some of them are dormant so in theory they could come back to life again so while I continue building this particular question uh, just a reminder in the panel on the left there that there are a number of different types of questions that you can add within your H5P interactive video. 
popular ones that you'd be used to, drag and drop and fill in the blanks and multiple choice, but also, you know, interactive summaries and um, drag the words and so on. So quite a good variety are available. So just about finished. So we could continue adding additional questions and statements and so on, but we're fairly happy with that. So I'm gonna click on done. And we'll see that that appears this time as a button, but uh, perhaps not the best location. So I might just wanna move that somewhere more obvious.